All right, well, vaping, it has uh, grown in popularity among teens and young adults. So how does it stack up against smoking? Dr. Rachel Haley from HCA Midwest Health explains the, ben the effects. Is this really something we should be worried about uh, as a nicotine replacement? Uh, Bill, absolutely. The answer is yes, we should be worried. According to the CDC, the percentage of high school students that reported using um, e-cigarettes in the mm -hmm. month prior increased over 75 percent between the years 2017 and 2018. And vaping among middle schoolers increased nearly 50 percent. Really? Yes, it's kind of scary. And what's even more alarming is that um, in a study done, 65 percent of teenagers had no idea what was in their e-cigarettes. They thought it was flavoring. 13% yeah. um, only knew that nicotine was in there. So these uh, statistics are alarming. We need to know what these products do and how to better educate our children about them. Okay, well, let's go ahead and kind of go back to the beginning then. What exactly is an e-cigarette and how do you think teens and just younger people are getting the idea that this is a safe alternative to nicotine, mm -hmm. or to cigarettes, excuse me. Yeah, so e-cigarettes are typically battery-operated electronic devices that deliver nicotine by heating a liquid called an e-juice mm -hmm. um, into a vapor and aerosol that contains small particles that are inhaled. Um, and they can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, like they can look like regular cigarettes, cigars, pipes, pins. One of the most popular ones right now is shaped like a USB flash device. Like a thumb drive or something? Yes, exactly. Um, and so they also come in flavors like mint, fruit, bubblegum, which teens find appealing. Oh my goodness. And again, teens don't realize that these contain nicotine and, you know, can be more harmful than cigarettes because some of them contain even more or just as much uh, nicotine as cigarettes do. Yeah. Now, kind of like, why do you think some people think it's a safe alternative to cigarettes? I mean, I, I think the obvious one to me in thinking about it is when you light up a cigarette, you're burning something, you're inhaling a smoke with carcinogens and everything. And when you think about heating up a liquid to a vapor, mm -hmm. maybe you don't think it's as harsh or something or what's what's Where's the, where's the, where, what am I missing here? Right. Well, you know, that, that is a thought that's out there, but, you know, honestly, we just don't know. Mm -hmm. Scientists are still learning about all of the harmful long-term effects of e-cigarettes. What we do know is that they can cause irritation to the eye and GI system. It can cause inflammation mm. of the airways that lead to bronchitis. And of course, we know that nicotine is addictive. It can raise your blood pressure. It can yeah. cause cancer and it can negatively affect or harm the adolescent brain, which is still maturing in people even into their mid-20s. So, you know, most importantly, you know, nicotine can affect that brain that controls, you know, emotions and mood and learning and attention and impulse control. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important that we know that nicotine is harmful and no matter what form it comes in. Now go to back, going back to say, talk about something you talked about earlier that 50% of middle school kids, you've seen that rise in it. Now I have a five and a 10 year old. Now I'm a, that caught me by surprise. My 10 year old's only a couple years away from middle school. So as a parent, what should I be doing to talk to them about uh, the dangers of nicotine and the dangers of vaping? Oh, so important. You know, I think the first thing we need to do is set a good example, mm -hmm. be tobacco free. And if you do use tobacco, it's never too late to quit. And that's another way of setting a good example for our kids. And talk to our children, you know, educate them, help them learn about what the harmful effects are. And, you know, you can even set up an appointment with your child's health care provider and let them hear from a medical professional mm -hmm. about what the, the health risks are of using these e-cigarette products. You can talk to your doctor if you think you are struggling with a nicotine addiction. HCA Midwest has smoking programs to help you stop. Uh, for help finding a doctor, go to hcamidwest.com.